Indonesia football riot: 129 people killed after stamped at the match. At least 129 people died, and 180 were injured after violence and a stamped erupted following an Indonesian league football match. Police have said supporters of the Javanese clubs and longtime rivals Arema and Persebaya Surabaya clash after Arema were defeated three to two at the match. In Malang Regency, East Java, supporters from the closing side invaded the pitch, and authorities fired tear gas, leading to a crowded stampede and cases of suffocation. At East Java's police chief, Nico Anfita, 34 people died in the Kajurahan Stadium, and the rest while in hospital, and 180 were injured. He said, two police officers were among the dead. Many people were crushed and suffocated when they ran to one exit. Afina said, "They went out to one point at the exit. Then there was a build-up in the process of acclimations. There was a shortness of breath, lack of oxygen." A police spokesperson later put the death toll at 129 in one of the world's deadliest sporting stadium disaster. A hospital director told local TV that one victim was age five. Indonesia Chief Security Minister Mahfud MD said the number of spectators exceeded the capacity of the Kajuruhan Stadium. He said in an Instagram post on Sunday that 42,000 tickets had been issued for a stadium that had a capacity to hold 38,000 people. The head of the Manglang Regency's Health Office, Witanio Wiyoho, said earlier that officials were still collating the numbers of injured. Victim died of chaos, overcrowding, trampling, and suffocating. Wu Tanto said, adding that the injured were referred to different local hospital. Fighting reportedly started when the thousands of Arena fans rushed onto the field. Reba Shabaya player immediately left in, but several Arena players still on the field were also attacked. Local report said up to three thousand spectators had taken to the field. Out of a crowd of forty thousand, police said thirteen vehicles were damaged, including ten police car. Image captured from inside the stadium during the stampede crowd huge amount of tear gas. People clambered over fence. People were carrying injured spectators through the chaos. Video footage circulating on social media show people shouting obscenities at police who were holding riot shield. Torch vehicles, including a police truck, litter the street outside a stadium on Sunday morning. The Indonesian government apologized for the disaster and promised to investigate its circumstances. We are sorry for the incidents. This is a regrettable incident that injures our football at a time when supporters can watch football matches from the stadium. The Indonesian Sport and Youth Minister Zanudin Amali told broadcaster Kompas. We will thoroughly evaluate the organization of the match and the attendance of supporters. Will we return to banning supporters from attending the matches? That is what we will discuss. Fan violence is an enduring problem in Indonesia, where deep rivalries have previously turned into deadly confrontation. Manfud MP said organizer ignored the recommendation of authorities to hold the match in the afternoon instead of the evening. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.